Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to BD with a Purpose. So today we are going to be playing with some new to me makeup products. And um, so, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do all kinds of things here. I do makeup, I do lifestyle, and um, faith-based things here on my channel. And so, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to try is the e.l.f. Glow Dew Mist. And I always see, or I don't always see, um, Juicy Jazz actually did a full face of e.l.f. products recently. And so that is what I'm going based off of her recommendation. So far, I've honestly liked or loved everything that she's recommended. And if you guys remember, they had a coke because this one has coconut and argon oil in it. And if you remember, I was obsessed with Elsa coconut hydrating facial mist, which I couldn't find anywhere, which is why I haven't repurchased it or anything like that. Maybe if I look online, but I hate buying things online because I can save on the shipping and go pick it up myself. But anyway, so I'm really excited to try this one because I did like I was in love with that other elf spray. So go ahead and give this a try as a primer spray first. Okay, not a big fan of the sprayer. It's kind of like spitty, if you know what I mean. It's like tss, 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 tss. But um, it does smell exactly like the other one that I was in love with. Okay, and then going back to an oldie but a goodie, I'm going in with the Ulta Hydrating Face Primer. And we're just gonna go ahead and prime our face with this. I'm going back to this one because I'm getting these really ugly breakouts and I don't know where they're coming from. So priming the eyes, we're just gonna go ahead and take the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer and we're just gonna go ahead and apply this to our eyelids to prime our eyelids. <laughs> I'm gonna take my e.l.f. blending sponge and just blend that in. And I did forget my eyebrows, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do really fast is I'm gonna go in with this Milani Brow Pomade in the shade 01 Soft Brown. And we're gonna go ahead and fill in our brows really, really fast. There is one thing I'll say about a pomade is that it's, to me, it's way faster than doing it with a brow pencil. Okay, so another new to me thing is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm so excited to start playing with this. Um, I've wanted it for a really long time. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take the shade White Chocolate and I'm gonna go ahead and set the concealer down with that. The next shade I'm going to go ahead and go in with is Salted Caramel, and I'm going to buff that all over the crease. Now I'll be using my Wet n Wild uh, crease brush. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Milk Chocolate, and I'm just gonna buff that into my crease as well. But with this one, we are going to be a little bit more precise. I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush that I got in my Ipsy bag last month. Really building that up on the outer corner and a lower part of the crease. Okay, I do want to go in and cut the crease just a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I literally mean just a little bit.
So now that we're done with that cut crease, um, or cutting the crease, ooh, what color do I wanna go in with? I'm gonna go ahead and take a creme brulee and put that everywhere that we cut the crease. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my finger for that. Looks really pretty. Okay, so now we're done with that. I actually forgot to do the mask. So now I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and just prep them for some falsies. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara and I'm just gonna do a couple of coats on the top lashes. Okay, so as you all know, I am no newbie to kiss lashes, to kiss lashes, but I have been eyeballing these for a long time that, and I wanted to try them just to, they looked really pretty in the box. And then once I saw Juicy Jazz try them, I was like, okay, yep, gotta try them. So the next new thing I'm going to be trying are these uh, kiss lashes in the style Ritzy. And this is the True Volume brand uh, line called Pumped Up Effect. And they just look like this. And so we're just gonna go ahead and pop these on really fast. Can y'all see those? Cause I just now realized that I got the pair for redheads and I didn't even know that that was a thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly go over that with a little bit of mascara, very lightly. Okay, and then I feel like now you can see them on me. That's so funny, I didn't know that they had that. I need to start paying more attention. And I only noticed, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but I only noticed because there's kind of like some blonde in there. So like they look black, but they're actually really light because there's like some blonde hairs in there. But the thing says natural black, so I don't know. That's weird. I guess eyelashes have highlights now. Who can keep up with the trends these days? Okay, another thing that I wanted to go back and try out again, um, well, try out again is because it's been seriously years since I have had this foundation because it was way too light for me, the shade that I did have. And so that is going to be the Wet n Wild Photo, Fo Photo Focus Foundation. And I've got this one in the shade Golden Beige. I, I'm telling you, I don't know why I thought I was so light back then. Like I had one of the lightest shades, like literally. So um, I did, I did, I did always like the spatula on here, but I don't really remember how it wore, what the coverage was like, or anything like that. And now I remember the scent. I don't know what paint thinner smells like, but that's what a lot of people compare it to. And I don't know why anybody would go around sniffing paint thinner. Okay, and then going in with my Wet n Wild sponge, we're gonna go ahead and blend that in. Mm, is that a good shade match? I think it is. I think I did a better job picking out a shade. And the coverage is insane. Okay, now this is full coverage if I've ever seen it. This, I think that this has more coverage than the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. Pretty sure that's more coverage. I did mess up my eyeshadow a little bit, so I'm gonna go back in with my finger and just add that over that foundation we accidentally put there. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my face, going back in with my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I have tried the e.l.f. concealer. I was not a fan, I mean the Wet n Wild concealer. I was not a fan of it just because I felt like it was way too dry on me underneath my eyes. 
Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and take our Wet n Wild sponge and we're just going to, and we're just going to blend that in. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with this Bella, Bella Pierre Banana Setting Powder and we're just gonna set with the sponge underneath our eyes and everywhere else that we put the concealer. And then for the rest of the face, we're gonna do like always, just take our brush and barely put it in there, dab off a lot of that excess and then dust it on around our face. Okay, now we're going back in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and we're gonna go ahead and go back in with Salted Caramel and drag that all across our lower lash line. Gonna go ahead and go in with Milk Chocolate and put that a little bit closer to our lashes. Going back in with the Lash Sensational by Maybelline, we're gonna go ahead and coat our lower lashes. Something funky going on right here by my nose. Okay, so to bronze up the face, we're gonna go in with our number seven bronzer in the shade Maple, and we're just gonna go ahead and bronze our face with that, of course. And then for blush, we're gonna go ahead and go in with this Milani Romantic Rose blush and put that right above that bronzer. Next for highlighter, I'm taking this Sugar Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Champagne Champion and we're just going to highlight our cheekbones and everywhere else pretty much. Okay, and then for lips, I'm going in with my Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in the shade Nude, and we're just gonna line the lips with that. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and go in with Lolita 2 by Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick. Okay, and last but not least, I always forget to do this on camera. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Brow Out Setting Gel in the shade Dark Brown and set to my brows. Okay, and now, oh, my eye is watering. Don't know why, I haven't even messed with my eye. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Glow and Dew Mist, or e.l.f. Glow, Dew, Glow, Glow Dewy Mist. And we're gonna go ahead and, oh my gosh, what is going on? I feel like my sprayer might be messed up, like, sprays everywhere but my face kind of. Let me take the sponge and just dab that out so we don't have any spots on our face. Okay, you guys, this is the completed makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really liking how everything came out and turned out. I feel like it's beautiful, so, if you guys enjoyed this, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave all video suggestions down below in the comment box. I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more. Bye. Mwah.